themselves and don't actually look at the detail in that test as to where, for example, one mark, one movement begins and ends. And sometimes it's easy just to pick up again that 0.5 of a mark here and there by paying attention to detail on the requirements of the test, like riding transitions, um, like being accurate to the markers. It does make a big difference. Level steps, regular, reasonable extension there. Tightened a little bit in that um, medium canter. You can almost see the tails looking a little bit um, tight and almost sort of clamped. I don't know what the problem was there, but she just didn't open up the horse as one would expect. A lot of snorting going on here. Is this through tension? We don't really know. I'd just like to see a little bit more air time in this canter. settled into a relaxed rhythm. Apart from the fact that the horse came a little bit behind the vertical, um, right up until the last step, I thought that was a really pleasing um, turn about the haunches. steps there in the medium counter down the long side M to F slightly pushing into the rider's right leg in that counter canter so the horse didn't stay straight on top of her legs what I mean straight the horse should always be um, straight whether he's on a curved line or a straight line um, so in other words, they should, the legs should all go in the same direction and there the horse in that uh, counter counter was just jumping sideways a little bit. A bit slow to uh, take the weight on that left hind, but uh, the hole came off in the end. And so that's Victoria Knapp, Stern Tull is 67. And they look a really good partnership together and wants to maybe watch for Poland for the future. And this is a horse that I do um, have a slightly soft spot for that's coming in, Libertina, uh, for Poland, Matthias Kemper. Um, I've been over for several years um, helping to judge the Polish Young Horse Championships and this mare has come up through their system and as a younger horse she looked um, quite Irish in her type and quite often the stronger horse as a, as a younger horse. Sometimes they can go a little bit heavier and sometimes they can refine. And this mare has really refined and become far more elegant than I would have imagined. Um, she had a lovely temperament as a young horse and took so much in her stride. And I've always sort of watched out for her. I think she was successful in the successfully in the placings in the World Breeding Championships at Le Lyon d'Angers a few years ago. It's lovely to see her coming up through the through the system, through this level. So this is Lab Libertina for Poland. Matthias Kiem.
when she was four and five. I couldn't quite fit her in my suitcase, otherwise she'd have come home with me. Maxim Livio presented the half pass very nicely with a preparation to, with a shoulder four, and that's something that maybe would have helped to have got a better positioning and supple bend in that half pass, but it was still a lot of good work. Rhythm well maintained. Little tension there, which was unfortunate. Elegant medium trot, good ground cover, and a nice range of the steps. Half past to the right coming up. Good crossing. Nicely positioned and nicely finished. What I was talking about earlier with the horse being finished in the half pass parallel with the long side. You've got her eye on that camera, man. But really walking forward very nicely. We want to feel now that as uh, she takes the rein forward, she's actually taking the rider's hand with her could take the nose a little more forward she's got a good over track just lacked some consistency in that stretch and the free walk but came nicely back to the medium walk and remember there's a separate mark for the, those two medium walks love the range of the medium Whoa, now, sit her on her hocks. Whoa. Good. Oh, looking a bit... Can't just quite see there. Yep, well done. judges aren't going to be too fussy and say lacking a little collection good transition to the walk shorten the walk a little steps a little bit just lost a little bit of impulsion going into that but here we're being very critical there's a great deal to like about this test one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and the transition back again must feel very confident in this counter canter to have this quite open canter but totally safe no heart stopping moments oh dear it's a shame in that half circle the mare starts to canter and possibly a little out behind what a great in the halt. But some lovely work there. 
And um, I hope, hoping she's going to uh, come up with some decent scores. And see what the judges thought about this. Point four. Libertina is going to be right up there. Great test then. Nadia with the unlucky mare, Libertina. Winner of her last two, two stars. I've just overheard that she's won her last two stars. At the moment we haven't come up with any scores for Libertina. The judges have been putting the final collective marks up there. And um, of course, these are the paces, freedom and regularity, the impulsion, which is the desire to move forward, elasticity of steps, suppleness of the back, and engagement of the hindquarters, which certainly that mare had. And it's taken her, Whoopi, into equal first place on 26.80. Equal there with Maxine Nivio. So I'm really pleased that the judges liked her as much as we did, or I did anyway. Submission, attention, and confidence is the third collective mark. Harmony, lightness, certainly have lightness. Ease of the movements, acceptance of the contact, and lightness of the club around. And for the rider, the final mark, position, and seat, correct use of the aids, and effectiveness of the aids. Lovely. Um, uh, Lovely relationship between those two horses. And, um, very much to life. So, great challenge there. Poland and France head to ha head at the moment at the top of the leaderboard. And they'll take a little bit of toppling, I would imagine. So, break now. We'll welcome you back at 21 minutes past nine. And in the meantime, Thanks very much for listening. We are having a break here in Arena A. Looking at the top of the leaderboard now. It's not just Kipper, it's going to hold it. And Shelby has first place on a 26.8. He marches that round in the pound and then that's in Libyo. 27.4 then, that's there for the box here and there. That's all right, Karida. Currently in fourth quarter with 26.8. He's a pedestrian, a man under the level.
Yeah, Colin. You're the Glenn Meyer and Rick Sunrise too. Have your game there. And that test in a wee bit. You can see one star. Welcome back again, everyone. Sue Stewart here in Stregon. Um, this wonderful arena. Sunshine's coming out. Um, I'm still buzzing from the last test of Libertina. Lovely, lovely mare. Both the judges agreed and um, very happy to have her there in equal first with Maxime Livio. Czech Republic now, Miroslav Proda, riding Lord. Judges had a quick break. And uh, once more at sea, Dr. Wolf Muller representing Austria and representing Great Britain, Judy Hancock on the long side at B. Came into a square halt there. Just pushed a little bit against the hand, but um, I'm in a very good position to see that and hopefully the two judges aren't. Just running a little bit in this trot, there's a difference between active energy and running. You want to feel that um, the horse is like a, a, a bottle of champagne in a way that you can keep the bubbles contained in the body. And that's what gives the, the lift, the cadence, the elegance and the lightness to the movement. Um, this horse is just a little bit quicker rather than being active. So he's just diving a little bit onto his forehand. But of course, he's a little bit that way built. So um, he's probably going to come out with a better future just being kept in front of the leg like this. And even with this slightly hurried trot, he's managing to carry out the movements. He's not the biggest natural mover. There's tension in the walk but he managed his turn about the haunches remarkably well. Quite a bit of tension though in the medium walk, 
which will have cost him a little bit. Not really giving a massive overtrack there. Coming into the right half pass. A certain degree of crossing. But again, have in your mind the last horse who had the lovely supple bend and the ability to really lift her shoulders and move across the arena. Now the judges are bearing in mind the medium walk that the horse has just shown before he went for the extension. I love the way this horse is actually just stretching his frame. Unfortunately, he's not really moving out of his shoulder as he hasn't in his trot work either. So it does limit the quality of the extended walk. They've given a mark for the extended walk. The medium walk is in two pieces. The first bit of medium walk all the way to M and then the second, sorry, all the way to H and then the second bit of medium walk from M to C. The first bit was mm, okay-ish. The second bit he really s never settled. So he's probably going to be down somewhere there on quite a low mark. Um, this serpentine, which he's about to start now, uh, the serpentine does say it must go to the long side of the arena. And that first loop didn't. He cut it short. The other two loops he's managed to get to the side of the arena. Cant is a little bit rushed and tight. As he makes this turn at E, it's a good preparation to make a decent transition to walk. And again, problems with this walk. It's definitely not the horse's pace. They would say the walk and the canter go together. And the canter's just a little rushed. Just lacks that ability to have that self-carriage. Serpentine number two coming up on the right lead, and he kept very tight behind there as he came off the track. His hind legs came together. I think something we have to pick up and admire with this horse is that he is nicely out in front of the rider with his contact. I don't quite see him troubling the leaders. So, that's the first of our group of nine horses for the middle section. And coming forward, next is Careless Cricket, ridden by Sophie Fricciali, who I think is from Italy, but I could be wrong. We see some slow motion shots of Lord, and you could see the lack of um, range in that medium trot. He wasn't just finding it very easy to open his stride. He ended up going rather downhill. Mm -hmm. 
I apologize to Sophie. She's from Germany with careless cricket. Very elegant grey horse, I think the first actually we've seen today. I'm not just too sure. Lord has come in, I'm afraid, rather well down the placings on in 23rd on 35.60. So now we welcome Sophie Pichali with careless cricket. Very nice square hold, also having a sneaky peep at something over to the left. Good positioning for her shoulder in there. Could stay a little more through to the contact. There's some issues with the contact and the horse was looking a little stiff to the right, uh, sorry, to the left. Coming slightly deep in that second shoulder in. Those stand by me to individual silver. The Europeans have put the stones and the woolen. All the time, my eye is slightly drawn a little bit to the issue with the contact. He's not really through into a secure drawing forward contact with the rider. And just the end of that, uh, well, not most of that uh, turn about the haunches, he just pivoted like a corkscrew. Just want him to come sort of up and out a little bit more. Bend? Is there bend? Is that a little bit more like a leg yield? He's being a little bit cheeky and playing, I think, with the rider. An extended walk. Yes, he's stretching. His neck's relaxed. He's got a good over track. He's still fiddling around a little bit with the contact. But he's using his body and he's reaching in that walk. And he was a little bit naughty there. Possibly uh, Sophie needed a little more leg. Or maybe the horse was just anticipating the strike off into counter like the strides in the medium good hind leg and he looks a little more settled in the counter yes marks should be moving up a little bit for this counter work a little bit deep there curling up you want to feel the contact with the horses is taking you the rider by the hand not you the rider taking the horse's mouth into your control walk could just be slightly clearer forebeat it was tending to be a little lateral at times So a mistake in the first ask, very quickly corrected by Sophie. Um, Careless Cricket just said, don't like the fact that you didn't tell me to do it correctly the first time, so I'll give you a little bit of a hump and a buck. And uh, third time, he said, okay then. So a bit pricey. So counter counter on the right lead. Looks fairly confident. A little bit on the forehand, but safe. A 
half circle there. A little bit paralyzed in the hind legs. They could be more active. Very nice square halt to finish. So, sort of test of slightly mixed fortunes. Um, one or two little hiccups, but some very promising work for the future. And we've got to remember that these horses are only at two-star level. So we're not expecting to see a very high level of self-carriage and balance, but we have seen it from one or two of these horses. So obviously when the judges see that, they have to reward them with the higher marks. For Sweden, about to come into the arena is Ulrika Blurd on Tipex. Again, such a different variety of horses, different shapes, different sizes. This horse very um, stands out with his white markings. And Ulrika chosen to ride in the double bridle. Lovely sunshine coming out here today. Quite a positive looking entry. Naughty boy's resting his near hind leg. Quite good positioning there for the shoulder in. And then coming hopefully smoothly into the right half circle left half circle a little interruption in the connection to the contact and then that left half circle sets you up quite nicely to make the next shoulder in movement because you're on your first stride onto the second half of that circle you're actually in shoulder in position you just then ask the horse to move straight on down the track. Just slightly tense. Kept the walk rhythm though in that pirouette, but a little bit jiggy joggy, as they say. And so we had a lack of rhythm. And again, a lack of rhythm in that medium trot and the second half showed some really promising steps so just a little bit unsettled in those last couple of movements which was a shame because potentially there was a good mark coming for that um, second medium trot not really clearly positioned enough round her right leg for the half pass so it looked a little straight and will he settle now into the walk? The walk parts so far have not been a highlight for him. And he's still wanting to do a bit of a hop, skip and a jump. It's this nightmare feeling as a rider when you think, oh goodness, they just please settle and relax. This is the moment when really you almost need to find yourself using more leg if you dare just to support the horse breathe your legs alternately alternately with his rib cage she took good advantage of his slight anticipation of the counter strike off there quite rightly 
I think it was the horse's idea, not hers, but sometimes you go with it. Getting a little stilted. Is she going to survive? Yes, the counter counter, well done. How is he going to make this turn and the transition to walk? Will he relax in the walk? You can see the steps are very short. We've lost the forward thoughts there. She's rescued it quite well. But, you know, too many expensive mistakes creeping in here. just give her a solid score unfortunately he's got a bit of a, a mind of his own hasn't he this horse and one that you you're not going to forget very easily as I said because of his markings he looks dare I say a little more fluent in this right lead serpentine perhaps he's a little more uh, freely forward than he was in the first one that's better trot at R and then B half circle onto the centre line now he looks suddenly he's just relaxed and gone a little bit softer in the trot work And a very nice square halt. If he'd just been able to start off like that, um, he'd have been several marks higher. But, as I've said time and time again, there's more to come than just the dress. So, Yagiello, now preparing to enter the arena, Sana Silka Torpy. Look, a very elegant partnership. <coughs> Excuse me. Sana, of course, representing Finland. That, uh, blue and white flag. Would have liked to have seen the horse keeping the forward thoughts from that reasonably square halt um, into a more positive move off. Well presented, good angle, the shoulder in, a little um, lack of connection into that contact at times. Very athletic, supple, springy trot. Lots of air time. A good suspension. But again, you know, 
just at the moment don't look at the head and neck but look at those springy steps that the horse was showing in the trot and those are as good a quality as the top horses that we've seen what will keep the marks down is this lack of connection through into a supple contact um, which is an indication of the rider being able to put that active energy into the horse and contain it there and let the horse develop itself in the balance and the self-carriage and this horse does give moments of managing to do that but then is just almost having to support itself on the rider's hand because it's got this very good movement you know the horse undoubtedly has a talent as the horses become stronger and more confident then they can hold their own body for themselves great extension lovely relaxed and really good to the contact there that tricky movement where you have to actually begin to put the horse together for the medium walk remember the two bits of medium walk so a couple of expensive mistakes there because she never really got the horse under orders in the medium walk and so the counter strike off was a bit of a camel job wasn't it bit of tension was tightening a little bit but surviving the counter counter I think she's riding the horse very sympathetically with a great sort of feel and all the time a very nice forward thinking hand this will be interesting can we good managed to make that transition and she did a darn good job of that a little bit lost the quarters there now can we get the canter better than we did the time before not quite direct but smooth Okay, pretty straight in the medium canter. Just got a little bit onto the shoulder there, but safe. And you can see the hind leg comes a little more underneath in the true canter than it was doing in the counter canter. She sits very nicely and rides the horse nicely. There again, the sort of energy in the hindquarters slightly overtaking the horse as she um, came down the center line and started preparing for the halt just hadn't been able to take his weight back enough and you could see a bit of a samba going on there um, coming into the halt losing the quarters but I thought she did a good job on the horse um, I hope the horse isn't about 19 because I was, would like to say that when he gets stronger and more confident in his own balance and she can retain that movement he'll be producing some good marks Windsor H Maria Pinedo Sandagorta and um, again a very different type of horse you can see now a few of the riders starting to walk the uh, 
cross country. There's a fence here in the arena. The uh, big round rails on the mim mim pins or the pins or the mim clips. <laughs> And in the meantime, Maria, from representing Spain, will be starting her test. Coming down the centre line in a good positive manner. And a good square halt. Still and relaxed. Well done. Just a little bit of variation there in Firstly, the rhythm, and secondly, the angle, the positioning of that sh first shoulder in. That looks a little more confident. And moving across quite fluently, you know, not with the flamboyance and the panache and the elegance maybe of one or two of the horses that we've seen earlier, but very workmanlike, basically correct. Little mistake there. And pivoting round too much rather than keeping that walk rhythm in that turn about the haunches. I just felt slightly let down by that medium trot. I thought there was going to be more to come. A um, little bit slow to get into it. And my instinct would have been to say, rise. Um, but she can only show what she can show and it's not to, uh, up to us as judges or onlookers to say well she didn't ride that very well you know we've got experienced riders here at this level and they will be producing as much as they feel they possibly can relaxed in the walk I thought the half pass could have had more positioning and bend want to see this proper relaxation stretch it would be nice if Maria could be brave enough to allow the horse a little more frame it's nearly there but if you think that the ears should be level roughly with the horse's withers and the nose level with the point of the shoulder that's quite a visual aid to you to um, understand how much lower we want the head and neck to come and also we want it to be out with the nose a little bit forward in as long a frame as is reasonably possible jumped a bit into a, an interesting counter strike off a little bit together behind Settled here. Looking workman like. That was a shame because he actually made a good transition after the turn. 
and he ground to a halt. Has his own ideas there about um, the requirements of the turn about the haunches, which isn't quite what's written in the FEI dressage directions. But um, horses have to have a mind of their own sometimes. And you get the feeling that maybe she was slightly expecting that because she just sat there quietly and waited for him to uh, get it over and done with. On the whole, he looks a pretty happy horse, doesn't he? And this is the uh, one of the directives that we're looking for. We want happy athletes. Not only is the rider considered to be the athlete, but also the horse now is given the title athlete. So the trot at R. He's not going to be troubling the leaders. He's got lots of potential, you know. You just feel that there's going to be more in this horse. And, you know, things like that. Really good square halt. Still on the aids. You know, just picking up these marks here and there. But on the other hand, he's losing marks here and there. So if you can carry on picking up the marks and also not losing them, you know, it's going to bring his percentage up quite nicely into a, a reasonably competitive score. So these are the things that um, Maria will be well aware of and hoping that she can improve on. But they really do look a, a, a well-cemented partnership. Next in is the for Italy and their gentleman Abbey, riding Laparox HB. Let's see if we can bring up some some marks here. We're looking for um, careless cricket. Uh, who is in 19th position on 33.90. Um, we also have uh, Tipex. Tipex, I'm afraid, went rather further down to 31st on 37.70. Uh, Jack Yellow, which we, we quite liked the horse, didn't we? Sana's horse. Or um, at least I quite liked something about it. But I don't seem to. Oh, yes. We've got her here in 8th place on 31.40 and Maria should be coming up fairly shortly. But in the meantime, we here have for Italy, Andrea Cincinnati, Leprox HB. Very nice to see the military salute here. Windsor H, I'm afraid, came into the reckoning in 32nd place on 38. Fluent shoulder in there. Does it lack a little active energy? Again, think back to the two horses we have in the lead. Maxime Livio and Matthias Kempler with those two lovely horses just could a little bit more lift, a little bit more. This horse looks really capable of some good trot work, but just slightly underpowered and struggling a little bit to get the horse to move away in the half pass. We want, really do want more bend round Andreas. Um, left leg keep walking forward everything's a little bit labored and just that 
slightly brittle four-beat walk, edging onto a lateral pace. Disappointing medium, I was expecting with the... It would have had more potential than that. Um, somewhere along the line, this horse is just lacking a little uh, lift and some suppleness. Again, that um, half pass is almost like a leg yield. There isn't really the bend. Um, is he behind the leg? The whole thing looks slightly as though it's all a bit too much effort on this sunny morning in Poland. Wonder why the double bridle. And you know, in this walk, I would like definitely to see a clearer four beat. We want to see a moment of a V in the hind legs when the um, foreleg and the hind leg sort of come together and make a V at the bottom. And this horse doesn't just quite get there with it. It's an, it isn't a completely lateral walk, but it's definitely not a clear four-beat for me. Slightly lazy hind leg, but achieved the medium canter. Profile looks pleasing and looks easy. I like to bend that hind leg more, that left hind leg. Have the bit more bend in the stifle and the hock. And then it can step up and underneath the body instead of just sort of slightly coming along as a bit of an afterthought. Again, that walk just pulls your eye into that lack of clarity. And there, clearly he's stuck in that pirouette, stopped thinking about marching. A little bit cautious. Big horse, could have made quite a bold impression in those mediums, but for whatever reason, um, wasn't just quite asked enough. And you can see on this counter-counter just a lack of lateral suppleness, which I think is one of the horse's basic problems. He just isn't quite reacting and coming around the rider's leg easier to roll himself onto his shoulder, pull himself forward a little bit. So as he comes down to the final line for his halt at eye, very square, um, don't actually think he'll be up there troubling the, the leaders. We've had some very nice tests. But you do feel that that horse is capable of, of more. Um, you see, you look there and he presents quite a, a pleasing picture. He's got a bit of over track, but he just needs more. There in the half pass now in the slow-mo, where's the bend in the body? And he's not really crossing, is he? It's somewhere between a, a change of rein and a leg yield. So, a um, bit of homework to do there, I would say. Um, okay. Fila, if that's how you pronounce it, is going to be the next horse in, written by Pavel Bozowski. And we'll see if we've got a score in yet for um, Andrea.
to zawody w sierpniu 2016 roku tutaj w Strzegowie. This is presenting a nice picture as he uh, comes past the judge. Andrea has just come in just behind Lord. Uh, 38.20 into 26th place. Another very elegant horse for the home team. Filla. I have to say they're putting up a strong hand here in this two star at Stregom on their home turf. And uh, watch out the rest of the world. Obedient, balanced halt, direct move off out of the halt into trot. Good use of the corners to prepare for that shoulder in. Three tracks, remember, inside hind leg on the line of the outside foreleg. That's the positioning that you're looking for. A little bit tight in the neck, but fluently forward through those two half circles. The outside shoulder could come in a little bit more to make that position quite clear. Looks to move quite nicely across in the half pass. Maintaining that active rhythm. Looks like the shorter steps before they turn about the haunches. Kept the rhythm of the walk, but a little bit um, over exuberant in the move off. Definitely had ideas of his own there. So let's hope he settles. No, he's not going to. We settled in this medium trot until it's a bit too late to get the, the better marks from the judges. He's made too many mistakes in those last two movements. Slightly took it upon himself to decide what he was going to do. Just um, having to sit there a bit carefully, a bit quietly. Hopefully just beginning to relax now through this walk sequence. Remember the two marks for the walk. First mark the judges will give if, is for this extended walk, which is looking very promising. Good relaxation, lowering and stretching of the neck, and the nose coming forward with some over track. They're holding in their mind the first bit of medium walk. This is the second bit of medium walk. Some tension in the mouth. Mark coming up, and the horse just anticipating that counter strike off at sea. Medium canter. Collect before he starts his three loop serpentine. Canter just hasn't got that uh, lift and spring that our leading horses have got. It's nice to see a horse spending more time in the air in the counter steps than 
hitting the floor. I want to just feel the horse kisses the floor with his steps and pings off rather than having to be sort of picked up off the ground. Some tension here. No good effort. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, looking confident enough. Well, some highlights there. Again, potential for the future. I dare say they'll be pretty pleased with that test because again there's a great deal of potential to come. Horse needs to develop a little more strength and ability to display those paces a little bit more confidently. Polsztyńskiego odbiera Connecticut. Była na nim dziewiąta w jednej z wiatkowych zawodach rozgrywany w sierpniu i będzie to w pierwszym so konkursie z Lukia. Competitor is Gloria Soha. Riding Connecticut from Hungary. The um, Hungarian nation is really trying to develop the sport of eventing. I've been out a couple of times and um, officiated there. They've run some three stars. They're very enthusiastic, but only a small pool of horses, riders and officials. But a very, as I say, enthusiastic team. Big horse light on his feet, isn't he? Nicely forward. Coming a little bit deep in front. Needs to keep him up and out. But, you know, fluid steps across there. A little bit lazy in that turn about the haunches. And it's one of the exercises, you know, that is actually to encourage the horse to take a little bit of weight on its hind legs. And he just rather pulled himself around a bit with the front legs. Crossing quite nicely to start with. And then he sort of, because he didn't start with enough bend, he flattened out, as it were, and ended up quarters trailing. 
so it could have been a better presented movement. The horse looks quite relaxed and happy in his work. Doesn't seem to be tension. Don't get too much bend in the neck. If you get that extra bend in the head and neck, it is only a half 20 meter circle in extended walk. You end up with the horse falling through its outside shoulder. And sometimes that can create a little unequality, inequality in the steps in the walk because of the freedom. You almost tr push the outside shoulder out and trap the inside shoulder with the head and neck. Could have a better shaped serpentine. Uh, she's nearly riding two V's instead of U's. So definitely I would say Judy Hancock at B will be thinking a, a lower mark for that because of the quality of the and shape and size of the loops. Just hesitated in that downward transition transition was quite good but then he stopped almost sort of being too cautious in the transitions I think looked okay and let's see if she can get a slightly better shape she needs to go across the center line almost at right angles well really at right angles and then she makes another u-shaped loop that's slightly better in the true counter she was in a slightly better position crossing the center line Quite nice balance and carriage. Very still in that final halt. And obviously, confidently still, um, you got the feeling that Gloria was not in any hurry to hurry him out of the arena. So it's good training for the future. The horse comes into the halt and is very happy to be relaxed. So, um, let's see where we ended up with Vila. Vila is in 38th position. I'm afraid down on 61.11. So well down the order today. In the meantime, yet another Polish representative, Margosia Karika, on Convalencia for Poland. And this will be the last horse before the second break. Very nice looking horse and profile. Yesterday I constantly said that um, on your short sides of the arena you can present a very nice profile to the judge at sea. Nice shot of the horse's outline. Um, halt was a little, really not happening. Rider slipping slightly to the outside of the 
horse to the left for the shoulder in, which just doesn't quite sort of always hold him where you want him to. But Margosha really attacking this test, very forward thinking, active steps in the early stages here. Fairly fluent across the uh, half pass. Settle into the walk before we prepare for the half turn about the haunches. Sort of kept walking, but got a little bit um, out of rhythm and the horse was sort of laboring a little bit round. Good steps there. And now to the half bars. Could just be a little better positioned and make sure there's some crossing. This could be a young horse that could actually be work in process. Don't let him go free walk too soon. This is medium walk. Back to that attention to detail. This horse has a good walk, really, but she hasn't shown that first bit of the medium walk quite as well as she could have done. It was somewhere between a free walk and a not there or whatever. Um, so this is where she should be actually picking him up and saying, let's show the judges we can make a good free walk instead of which the horse has other ideas and he's going to go sideways did we see a transition at K I'm not so sure you, know, you could be get the end towards the end of your long side in the medium canter just make sure your horse is a little bit in shoulder four so you can keep him on his hind legs and prevent him from um, changing behind or coming crooked a lot of the counter counter there which is a shame tension in the walk it was quite cheeky one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and transition. Better than the first one. Managed to maintain the counter throughout. He is a very nice horse. <laughs> Just a little bit jiggling with his hind legs, but otherwise fairly settled in the halt and um, relaxed. Again, another one that won't necessarily be chasing the leaders but they're fairly tight up in this uh, short two star here in Stregon that's as I said is the last horse of the second section so we should be back at 10.34 and look forward to welcoming you then 
Um, in the meantime, we've got equal first in this two star. Maxime Livio from France and he is riding Ariano de Cas and Matthias Kiempa is riding Libertino and the pair of them are on thirty five point one just ahead of Andrew Dubowski on 27.40. So enjoy coffee break and we'll welcome you back at 10.34. Thank you for listening.
Dallas, 21. The picture of a Gelly having the first international start. The test coming in for a score score and Nicky West Reichen and uh, John Zeno at 28.3. That would put him into current uh, third spot. It's the two tests in the 20th in the Seattle Great Battle Nation. Joint leading Pierre Munker and Eddie Wells on 28.4. That's going to be Patty Luciani and Poppy. Welcome to resume here in Arena A, Jesse <coughs> Two Star. The Germany we welcome in for a crush on Lux 147. 13 year old Mecklenburg Gelding. They finished 12th in the World Cup of the FCC One Star there this June. International One Star winner, Ryder Quigley, in 2016. First start at Jesse Two Star. 2014. And left 147. So a push for Germany.
Welcome back for the final session of this two-star short here in Stregom. And we welcome into the arena Georges Koch from Germany on Lux 147. A uh, few struggles here. The horse is in a double bridle. Um, he just was really not showing enough reaction and suppleness to be presented into the first shoulder in. And he's bearing down a little on the hand of the rider in those two half circles, not just prepared to take a little bit of weight on the hind legs and carry himself. He's expecting this rider to carry his head for him and we'd love just to see that much more suppleness length bend through the horse's ribcage he's got potentially good movement a little bit short in the neck you'd like to see him you know taking that contact forward but a very pleasing turn about the haunches in that he took the steps round in a good rhythm and very easily. Clearly has a talent for the medium trot, but I would love to see him take the nose forward. Proszę Państwa, skończyliśmy już krótką przerwę i oglądamy teraz na czworoboku zawodnika Zemienie Zagierbsko i koniec lub są to pierwsze dwudziestkowe zawody tej pary. Wcześniej w tym roku ten 64-letni zawodnik zajął 12 miejsce w jednym gwiazdkowych zawodach rozwijanych miejscowości Wachstorf Felipe.
One pair of diagonal steps to the other. We need in the shoulder in and all the lateral work to see the same activity in the trot as he has when he's in his ordinary trot on a straight line or a circle. Again, the horse just tried to spit away the dummy. Just not really accept that contact. Just slowing down there and step wide with the right hind leg. So again, problems in the mouth. You just wonder, has the tongue come over the bit? We don't know. Not happy somewhere. Trying to settle into that medium trot. And because of that medium trot, um, problems with the mouth. He didn't look just 100% level, which would be more bridle lame than a clinical lameness. Because he wasn't really stepping into the rider's hand and taking it across to the other side of the arena in the medium trot. Coming deep there and showing the judges the plaits down his neck. Remember the pole should be the highest point. Potential for a good extension there. Just needs to be a little more positively forward. Just a bit more purpose to that extended walk. Here again, this resistance into that contact. Problems again. All these are just sort of giving you judge that opportunity to peel marks away. I'm probably sitting there in their boxes saying, please stop doing that and then at least we can give you a decent mark is lacking forward thoughts and jump but uh, poor Andreas is having quite a battle with this um, horse settling him into the counter counter and he survived it without changing legs but never really accepted the contact <coughs> excuse me see all the time against this hand and it's, he's stiffening, he's resisting the, the bit. And it's taking marks off all the way. And then when he almost looks as though he's going to be a little bit more settled, he comes really too deep towards his chest. And he just does not want to draw that contact forward. you're looking for the um, image if you like of the horse taking the rider by the hand and leading him across the road or leading him down the lane or whatever it may be you have to have this relationship between the horse and the rider that they hold hands with one another the rider doesn't actually control the horse's mouth the, r the rider tries to give the horse the feeling that they he's happy for the rider to have a little contact and hold hands with them with him through the mouth and here poor andreas is having a bit of a, a struggle on that constantine too is not uh, wanting to play the game with him today and he's got you know basically good paces but if he's not going to accept the aids which of course comes in these collective marks at the bottom. Submission in particular, attention and confidence, harmony, lightness and ease of the movement, acceptance of the contact and lightness of the forehand. Unfortunately, this is where it comes into it. The loss of extra marks. And also the final um, rider mark, although he, he didn't appear to do anything untoward with the horse 
he is responsible as the rider in the judge's eyes today for the performance of that horse so even though he's ridden it very nicely and the horse has been a bit of a so-and-so not given him a very easy time you can't reward andreas with a good rider mark because of the test that he's produced so it is an all-round test fair to everybody and um, another day you could well see another test from that horse if those of you out there are judging remember please don't ever carry a horse's previous form through in your own mind to when you next see it whether that forms bad or good it's what you see on that day at that time nothing that the horse has done beforehand so for austria we now come to clemina croy with Fridolin 14. Nice forward trot. You know, come in and wow the judges before you start, make them sit up and pay attention. And then the in May, second in the Vine North Cat, one star last year, second international start. 2018 for Just not necessarily sort of sticking your head up in the air and looking at the judges like that, please, horse. Did he slightly over position the horse at the start of the shoulder in? I'm not sure. Um, and by that, I mean took the horse at too wide an angle, and then it makes it very difficult for the horse to maintain a really good balance. But correct it just a little bit more towards the second or third step in and that doesn't look quite as um, uh, strong an angle the one to the left nicely forward very fluent Maintain that rhythm. Clear over track, quite a good range of movement there. I would like to see the horse bend his hind legs, bend his hocks, bend his stifle, and really propel himself forward with the hind legs underneath his body. And then he's really going to come uphill in front and be there for sort of some quite strong marks. Interesting, the horse carries the tail slightly to the left. Love the way the horse actually, as the rider offered the hand, and let the rain go a little longer. That horse really did say thank you and took the rain forward. Marching over track. Accepted the transition. Easier said than done that transition from extended walk to free walk. But if you've got a horse that can do it, train it, train it well. It's two marks there up for grabs without doing anything very tricky. Great attacking medium. It's rather a sweet horse. Uh oh. Getting ideas above his station. He thought he was going to be a three star horse. Did a flying change. See if you make a good another good turn here and the walk. Very good, well done. Looking very relaxed and any time after the centre line. And a 
pleasing transition into canter. Canter work, apart from the um, serpentine, is putting in some quite decent marks. Now, just keep the right leg on, the left leg behind the girth to help the horse not to produce a flying change. <sighs> very nearly, very nearly. Getting quite strong in towards the end of that canter session and just needed to keep more fluently forward there. There is something very fascinating over to his left. It's all about putting the test components together smoothly and easily. So one movement flows very nicely into another because it's adequately prepared. I do think that um, Clemens did a, a good job of presenting the horse. He gave him a few challenges and he had to just ride through what he'd got. And I think there's something to look forward to next time we see him out. So it was Fridolin 14, Clemens Croy for Austria. At the ITC star level. Italy again. And Bertha rode in four European under age teams from 2007 to 2010. And this is Umberto Riva. Falcon Sunhope Z. So just hopefully to bring you up with some scores. Lux, who was giving um, his uh, rider quite a, an interesting time. I'm now trying to find on my results. Next in the yeah. should be my and, and an for Constantin Grafenhafer with the double bridle is in 45th on 44.60. And Lux is in 21st position on 34.20. So on um, Berto Rivo with Falcon Sun Hope Z. Nice horse. Quite well positioned in the shoulder in. Moving quite freely across in the half pass. Well, the walk's a little disappointing. Just like to see that in a much clearer three beat, four beat, sorry, and a little bit more um, confidence in that to turn about the haunches. Just looking a little 
sort of fluency and lift in that medium trot. And again, wouldn't it be nice to see more reaction to Umberto's right leg from this horse just to come a little more supple and yield. He's got, you know, good potential, promising paces, walks a little better this time, a little bit more settled than it was uh, when he was getting ready for his turn about the forehand. Quite good relaxation here. And there's the overtrack. Stretching. But Arena Pierce had had here on Arena A. The Bill Postman and uh, no OPEC here with the next thing. 18 year old fellow, 17 in the Wazel stand off. We have to speak at one start for two star start in 2018. So no OPEC, no OPEC for Philip Postman in Germany. Swój pierwszy start w dwuwiastowym konkursie w tym roku rozpocznie Filip Hulceman z Niemiec, wysiadający konia polskiej hodowli na opak. Currently in arena B for Hungary, 
do the barter and get the the seven year old KWPN there. No, 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 do not get the CCL one star back in May. Two day road in the three European junior team from 2011 to 2013. The Vida and the Gessie in Arena B.
into their pets here in every day. Her husband and now Opak, she acts. So what's an event for our kids? Mrs. Falk and their friend Joseph K. They finished forcing the dinner to teach their teacher last time up. This nine year old, Michael Rodan and four underage like Europeans in his time. And Joseph into Arena A. Chorobok opuścił zawodnik z Niemiec, Filip Kultman, przydał się pojawia na opak, a już za chwilę przed Państwem to prezentuje się austriacki i jeździec Michał Sperk i Franz Jozef. Because you know in the beat, not up in the yard, have a big or a check. Not in the test, in the arena beat. Third international start for a matter. Last rider Philip came in in 36th place. With 37%. Square hold slightly above the bit in the move off. A little bit of tilting of the head through that corner, but otherwise fluently into that shoulder in. Slight variation in the angle. came through the two half circles. We can't see from the angle here whether they're equal, those two half circles, whether they go down the right um, distance to make the 20 meters. Sometimes people cut them into two little sort of half curves. Losing a little bit of a four beat. But I like the trot work. Medium trot coming up. Regular steps, time to develop more air time in the trot in the horse.
doesn't give it that head, yet I say it, and uh, I just fought for a fair. And it came to a remain so the second part is the ICC down, yet set it like, set it like, and here's a thunder for a check. Because of the registered in the seven, of the seven years in the Netherlands, Coney said was interesting. Asian early on that there was a championship with one star last year. Seventh year of Shagam, one star in April. First star, I think the after two star. We wish him well. Set it like in the midst of Shunda. Ja bym chciał spróbować, że nie zachodzi o sylwetki zawodnik Michael Spohr, do wyjątkowania Franz Josef. A i za chwilę przed Państwem zaprezentuje się Mirosa, trudna, który dojrza do konia Shutterflight. W ubiegłym roku ten koń zajął ósme miejsce w mistrzostwach świata młodych hejt koni. Będzie to pierwszy start w zawodach dwóch gwiazdowych tej pary. W tym roku Mirosław Trunda i Shutterflight zdobywali już dwukrotnie siódme miejsce na zawodach jednogwiazdkowych. Było to w Strzegomiu i w Baborówku. Next into Arena B should be at a pacemaker in Peter Rosenberg's board check. He chose out of their end. Seventh and double clear, Tezzo Zou, he has been one star last year, first international star of 2018 for a pacemaker. More relaxed now in this extended walk, a more correct pace in the walk. Quite a good range, but again, let's have the neck out and stretching forward. Better than the walk before the um, turns about the forehand, which did become a little um, dicey. We get the feeling that the quarters are in a little bit there. The shoulders, I'm not quite sure where they are. Now, this could present a little bit of a challenge. The horse is a little bit braced up against the base of the neck, losing the three beat canter through that serpentine. But well done, Miroslav, he actually survived it. He's 
see the horse all the time is just trying to come a little bit braced up above the contact. You can see the bulge under the horse's neck. You can see how that walk is losing its forebeat at times. He's almost trodden on himself there with his right hind leg. And the rhythm is far too varied. Up came the neck, dropped the back and shot into canter. I think he'd rather be going cross country. Very sensibly, he was quite modest in that medium canter. I don't think he had any choice but to ride it fairly carefully. I hardly dare say it, he looks slightly more convincing in this right counter canter, but he's not made the best shape of the loops. And again, I think this is a damage limitation exercise to save any risk of them um, losing the true canter. In trot, Miroslav is a little um, more confident to carry his hand a little more forward. In the canter, the horse was giving him a quite a time, and so he got his hand a little bit fixed down by the wither. Um, and that was probably a chicken and egg situation where he felt he had to anchor the horse a little bit, otherwise he might have disappeared off out of the arena. Um, but then, you know, it's locked the horse down, which is not just always quite so easy to rescue what is or should be there. So, um, we've just got another couple before we finish this two stars short. And we now have for Italy, Romona. Romona, the 12th in the World Breeders' Championship at the Leon Dijera last year. So for Italy, Romona and Roberto Riganelli. Elegant horse. Quite, looks quite light on her feet. A little unsettled at the moment in the, in the rhythm. So, another from the Italian services, Roberto, Roberto Riganelli with Ramona. Positively down that centre line. Lost a little attention in the halt. But I don't think the judges will be too hard on this. You know, you, you want horses to be aware of their surroundings. Um, just slightly guessing that that should be shoulder in, but I can't see three tracks, I'm afraid. And I think you've probably got a pretty good shot of it on your screen that uh, the horse didn't just react by bringing that outside shoulder over. I'm afraid Shutterfly is not quite propping up the bottom, but helping um, helping to on 42.10. There are a couple behind him, but uh, going to have a lot to do to challenge the leaders. <coughs> Again, we want more suppleness, excuse me, um, and reaction to the inside leg. I like the quality of the trot, it's just not yet established. unsettled in the walk and getting gluey in that turn about the haunches which we would like something to be more supple in that in that um, movement 
Medium truck, reasonably modest. And now we come to the half pass to the right. You just want to see a little more reaction, don't you, to the um, to the bend. There's a lot of things to like, but they're not yet just relaxed enough and settled enough to go from one set of movements to the other in a seamless manner. Quite like the extended walk. Relaxed. Neck could just get a little lower. And that tricky transition from the extended walk into the medium walk. And the medium walk continued to move forward. The horse actually was very confident to just contain the steps take the short, slightly shorter frame but then had a progressive transition into the canter in other words he went through trot and not directly out of the walk keep jumping keep jumping keep jumping you know showing at times a very nice profile canter maybe at times got a little bit flat but he looks more settled and confident in this canter work than he was doing in the trot. Relax. Trying to fix your hand. That's the sort of turn about the middle. That's not a turn on the haunches. Definitely not. But a fairly good transition straight into the canter. We've got to remember that these are two star horses. Some of them will obviously just be coming up to this level. And so they may be quite young still and very much work in process, progress. Early enough still in the season. Like this horse's counter work. Could just have got a little bit nearer the long side there, and Bert, uh, Roberto. Half circle, take up his final center line. And a pretty square halt, still and attentive. So, some, you know, pleasing parts in that test and a horse that looks as though he's got scope and potential. Looks quite a, an athletic little horse. So perhaps one to watch for the future. Just wants this more suppleness to the rider's inside leg. Okay, we're coming up now, now for our final rider in this two star for Germany, Josephine Schnaufer with Pasadena 217. Uh, Ramona has presented quite a good placing in 29th on a score of 35.60. So, not a million miles out of there by any stretch of the imagination. So, here we have our final rider, Pasadena 217. Westphalian horse, a Westphalian mare.
quite narrow, isn't she? Quite upright and quite narrow in the chest. Pretty, leggy. Elegant movement, just not completely receiving that energy into a supple contact in the mouth. Josephine presented quite well with some good preparation, which the mayor didn't totally accept on the centre line for that half pass, but then got what she wanted. I'm sure the horse has got the longest legs in the competition. Well done with the turn on the haunches. Just a little indecisive in the move off. You know, was she wanting to walk off? Was she wanting to trot off? wasn't really clear. Great range in the medium trot. And a genuine transition at F. quite relaxed. There are some highlights here, slightly interrupted by um, a lack of, <coughs> excuse me, um, a lack of just confident fluency. But when everything gets put together, there'll be some really good boom. Slightly short with the left hind leg occasionally. Wow, that's bold. Really off the floor. Just unfortunate towards the end, we had the little mix up of the legs. Josephine contained that really very well. It looked slightly brittle, but she did a good fist of it. Well into the walk, mare just dipping a little bit. A bit of a pivot there, instead of actually keeping walking with the hind legs in that um, turn about the haunches, smoothly forward into the canter. Really bold medium there. Let's see if she can keep the correct lead, good. Last serpentine, right leg leading. Getting a little bit sort of stalky, a little bit chicken legged in the counter counter. A bit stiff, but really developing something quite well here. When she can just get her through into this supple contact in the trot, uh, she's going to give the uh, top slot 
A bit of a run for their money. Lovely mare. Um, with certainly plenty of ability. And um, we will just check for her score to come in. I don't think it'll change the leaderboard for the top few. By any stretch of the imagination, we still have that there, Maxime Livio and Matthias Kiappa with Anario de Cans and Libertina both on 26.80 closely followed by Andreas Dubowski FRH Corrida 27.40 27.60 is his fellow country lady Julia Krajewski Amanda Beneville Ben Lure also for Germany Saint de la Vie 135 on 28.50. 29.10, Maxime Livio again with Billy Elmy. And then we come into another batch of Polish riders. Jan Kaminski, senior, 30.80 in seventh. Sana Sikotopi, Jagilio. 31.40 in 8th, ninth Poland, Robert Pawala, Rara de Castegno, 31.60, and on 32.20, Matthias Kiemper again for Poland on Ambrosio, Ambrosio J. Those are your top 10, and Josephine Schneider has just come in on 36.00 exactly in 30th position. So, between the top and the bottom, the bottom 47.20, the top 26.80. So, plenty of room for movement in that uh, range of horses. We have 52 competitors completed the dressage, so still quite tightly placed, and some of those in the middle, plenty to play for. We look forward to welcoming you back. Um, Ed Holloway will be live streaming for FEI TV for the Nations Cup later on. And in the meantime, enjoy your day. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.
o godzinie 12 i 15 mówię o tym wiele przepisów Good afternoon, everybody. Beautiful, sunny afternoon awaiting the start of the Nations Cup dressage. And is, 